Here is a specimen of Corcus stellata, the post oak. It's growing in a dry, sandy spot in a frequently burned longleaf pine forest. And that is its typical habitat, dry soils. It's not restricted to sand hills, but it likes dry soils. Corcus stellata belongs to the white oak group and as such has that slight flakiness to the bark although not nearly as flaky as Quercus alba or Quercus michoei. Probably a little bit more similar to Quercus lyrata. As with other oak species, leaf shapes can be quite variable. And so you can find leaves such as this one that appear to be white oak leaves, superficially. But usually somewhere on this tree, you're going to find the classic post oak leaf. And the classic post oak leaf is right here. Let me pluck one of these off. And you can see that it's got two lobes that are sort of blunt or square on the edges. And these lobes superficially form a cross in the leaf so if you take the mid vein going up and down the leaf and that square tip lobe going side to side it has that cross nature to it and that's where corcus stellata gets its name as the leaves fully expand and develop they're going to become quite glossy on the upper surface and pubescent beneath it's hard to see that pubescence now but they're going to have a slight yellowish golden pubescence as they continue to mature